Hey guys, welcome to Restorbin. My name is Kushal and in this video I'm going to show you how to log in into your SSH as well as SFTP remotely into your Ubuntu Cloud Server. So in previous video you have seen how to create the Ubuntu Cloud Server on DigitalOcean and also get $50 free credits. If you're not seen that video, I would be linking that video in the description below. So to get start, uh, I have created an article, I have written an article on my blog uh, which is uh, named as a login SSH STFP, SFTP, I'm sorry for the tongue twister. So this is the article which details about what exactly is the SSH and what exactly is a SFTP. So I have also hyperlink few of the uh, download links here. So in order to log in SSH on Windows, you need to have a software called Sputty and to log in into the uh, SFTP we need a software called as FileZilla which is uh, available for both uh, Windows as well as Mac OS. So I would be leaving this link as well in the description. Let's get start with the SSH first. So uh, I have received a couple of mails yesterday. So one of this mail was the detail with uh, my username and the password as well as the IP address for my droplet. So these details we would be needing to log in into the our cloud server for the first time and then we would be changing the password. So let me open my terminal and by the way for uh, Mac OS we don't need any software like Putty. Uh, we can use the inbuilt terminal to connect to the remote connection. So for that you need to open the terminal first and uh, create new remote connection you can also use a shortcut key which is shift command k so this will open just uh, select the secure shell and so the IP address that is 59.203.71.45 which is my IP address that I received in my mail select this IP address and the user is name is root so just enter the same and connect so it's asking me for the password so I also have the one-time password in my mail so I will just paste it and hit enter so since I'm logging for the first time it's asking me to re-enter my password and then I need to change my password because this is a one-time password so I'll just go and paste it again, enter, it's asking me to enter the new Unix password, so let's enter some password, it's asking me to retype, yes, so I have entered the new password, so next time when I'm logging into my root, so this would be my the new password which I set right now. So in this way you can uh, log in into your uh, SSH cloud server using the one-time password and change the password. So I see there are a couple of packages that need to be updated so just uh, we can go ahead and update the package sudo apt get update so this will update the library and then we can upgrade using sudo apt get upgrade so this will upgrade all the updates that are available it will take some time because it's the first time i have logged in and updating so the update is complete so if you want to close the connection just enter type exit and enter so the connection is now closed you can close everything so this way you have now entered into the SSH now moving into SFTP so we are going to use a software which I mentioned in my blog post that is uh, the SFTP so you can download there was a link in that blog post so I already have that uh, software installed so let me drag this so this is the software this is how exactly it looks 
So since you are going to log in multiple times, what I would suggest is to create and save that uh, in uh, your in your my site list. So I will just go and paste it as demo, and uh, we are going to connect it via SFTP. So host is the same IP address. And remember the port is always 22. So user is root and the password is the one which I recently changed. And again say OK and then select this one and ask to connect. So it's asking me to add the key. Just select I always trust this. Okay, now you can see my all the files have been showing up in my remote server that is in the root. So you can browse what all folders you have here. So so this is how you can actually log in into SFTP using your root username and password. So in next video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the LEMP stack on your Ubuntu cloud server. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any comments. Thanks guys. Cheers. Have a great day.